a uh, great effort by our team tonight. You know, it was a sloppy game in a lot of different ways, especially with penalties and offensively shooting ourselves in the foot. Uh, you know, but we did what we needed to do to win a Coastal Division game, and that was important for us. You know, so uh, we don't have a whole lot of time to, to uh, you know, think about it because we got to get we got to move on and, and get ready for Pitt. Larry, the defense forced turnovers on five of Virginia's last six drives. Why have they been so good in the second half the last couple weeks? Well, I, I think one thing is I think our coaches do a great job at halftime, and it's not it's not about all the 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 adjustments and 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 speeches and all that. It's really just staying calm and being patient with the guys and talking them through what's really happening, and then letting them adjust to it. You know, and and uh, our guys have played really well in the second half. What does it say about your team to overcome all the penalties, the early turnovers, lots of, you know, missed two point conversions in the back? Yeah. I can tell you, those guys, not, you know, they never panic. I mean, they, they really don't. They're, they're, they're a pretty tight group. They feel good about themselves as far as, I mean, you know, uh, when they say, I got your back, they mean it. I mean, it doesn't matter what you do. It's not conditionally, you know. I mean, they, they, they mean it, and uh, they feel like they're going to take care of each other. Or is this a sign in some ways of how far you guys have come, given that you can win somewhat convincingly? Again? I yeah, I hope so. I, I think we have a very good football team. I really do. And I, I, I've said it before. I think the, the chemistry, the leadership, you know, our locker room, I think that's what's driving this football team. And uh, they're a lot of fun to coach. You know, they really are. Even with the mistakes and all those things, I mean, they'll, they'll, they'll get it corrected. You know, we'll get it corrected. And because and, uh, all those things are correctable. You know, I mean, it, it would be really bad if we couldn't correct them. So they're correctable. And, and uh, the, the problem is this, this week is you don't have much time to do it. And you can't, you can't sit there and, and really teach and learn from the things that you did this, this week. you got to move on. Along those lines, first five games of this winning streak, I think you won by an average of 28 points. Do you buy into the notion that a sloppy game like this is something that's a good thing for the team? Well, I'm going to make it good no matter what. I mean, it's a win. So we're, we're going to make it good, you know. I mean, uh, we're going to we'll point out the problems that we had, but how we overcame them is very important. And those are the lessons is, is you know, we can, we can overcome problems because there's going to be more problems coming in the future. There's no doubt about it. Some of them we'll create ourselves. Some of them the other team we play will create it for us, and we'll have to find a way to overcome them. Coach Elijah carried the ball 21 times tonight. Was there sort of a plan coming into the game to feed him more, or was that just what the game did? No, I think it was what the, the game dictated. I mean, you know, we came in at halftime trying to figure out what we needed to do in the second half, and it was like, well, there's nothing that we've done in the first half that isn't working, you know, so let's just keep doing it, you know, and, and hopefully we'll quit, you know, getting penalties and we'll quit uh, shooting ourselves in the foot. And we did enough, you know, defense 13 points in the first half and didn't give up anything in the second half and got four turnovers. I mean, that, that's – you're going to make it go. Feelings on the last Oh, I thought he did a great job. He ran hard, you know. He ran really hard, got the ball in the end zone when we needed to. Uh, I was, uh, you know, I don't want that ball popping out. I don't want him to have to look at it, you know. And, and But uh, he assured me that it was in, so he was right. Shaquille Rashad, uh, consistent throughout the night, but that one possession, he was huge. He had to, to stop um, for a three-yard loss. He had two plays that had the interception in the end zone. Just kind of address his play tonight and how much better he performed seemingly every week. Yeah, I, I, and I'll say Shaq and Shopman tonight. I mean, they were all over the field, both of them. And, uh, you know, the, both of those guys were in charge of getting us in the right, you know, situations according to all their personnel and all their movement and adjustments. And so there was a lot on those linebackers tonight, and those guys came to play and made plays. Can you sum up some of the things you said about the uh, passing appearance in the first half? Uh, I, get, I get upset about a lot of things, you know, but. Uh, you know, I, hey, I mean, they, they called it, and I mean, I got to live to learn with it. I mean, I got to learn to live with it. I mean, I, I got to do a better job of controlling myself. You talk about Malik's performance tonight. Yeah, I mean, Malik, you know, has is, is been thrown into the starting lineup for the last two weeks, and he, was, uh, he played his butt off last week, and then you saw what he did tonight. He had two picks. I mean, he played really well. He had a couple pass interference calls that I know he didn't, you know, he wished he didn't have, but he played well, and uh, he's done a nice job stepping into that role. Coach, you, you talked about Malik, and obviously uh, Brian Walker also had a, had, a, had a pretty strong game back there. Uh, in the, just talk about how the, uh, the secondary is kind of coming into its own right now with, uh, with those guys. Yeah, I think if you look at what they've done, their, their whole body of work this fall, I mean, those guys have done a great job. I think uh, Charlton's done a really good job with those guys, setting a, a very high standard for them and holding it to it, or holding them to it. And so uh, I'm, I'm proud of the way they're playing. I mean, it hadn't been perfect, but they're, they're – 
they're fighting, scratching, and clawing for everything that somebody gets. With the short week this week, what is the, the plan going forward? In terms of yeah, we'll get the we'll get the, the coaches and I. We'll stay in tonight and we'll start working on pit tonight when we leave here. Uh, the players will have off tomorrow, and we will game plan tomorrow. We'll uh, practice Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and uh, then get on a plane. Uh, Andre Smith the linebacker. Well, I, I don't know. I mean, I, you know, I'd have to go look at the film, and I don't have time to look at it, right? You know, so, uh, but uh, you know, he's a true freshman. He started the game. Uh, you know, I didn't see, I didn't hear JP saying anything negative about him during the game. So I imagine he played pretty good. All right, thank you, everybody. My players here shortly. Everybody's been asking just uh, why there will be no press conference on Monday. And we'll have availability after practice on Monday and Tuesday. I'll send out the schedule to everyone.